Pants. Pants. We all wear them sometimes. It's my birthday soon, but it's November and I'm also working full time. So I'd love to make like a beautiful birthday outfit. I love the ones you always see with like these beautiful silky flowy dresses, but I can't do that because if I turn up with that to work, I'll freeze. So I'll have to leave because I'm going to be crying because I'm so cold. So, so I want to make pants. 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 We're using this green fabric. I bought three meters of it, probably way too much. It looks really similar to my last fabric, but I guess I just like green. Just had a coffee, so if I'm like, blah, 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 I also really want to clean my apartment, but this is the only day I can sew. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. I found a free pattern on Mood. I've never used one of their patterns, but they're free. So I'm, even if this doesn't turn out perfect, which it won't, I'm happy. This is what it looks like. It's 39 pages. You tape them together. I hope they look good because I want to look good on my birthday, even though I have to work all day. <sighs> Once again, I'm procrastinating this, even though I know I'm gonna have fun. I hope you're ready for a long and slightly frustrating journey because this is exactly what this is. The first part, which was just taping them all together and cutting them out, took a lot longer than I thought it would and that's the theme of uh, this whole video. I'm not sure I cut out the right size and also I cut out all the pieces even though I didn't use all of them as for instance the belt loops, I didn't use those. There's also a pocket lining that I did use but I don't know why. So late at night we finally got to cutting all the pieces out and here I thought I did something wrong so I was being dramatic about it. Uh, but I realized I didn't actually do anything wrong and uh, that's a crisis averted because there never was one to begin with. first step in the pattern is to put in the interfacing, but I'm not in the mood to look for that right now, so that's a tomorrow thing. So I'm gonna sew the pants together. That's still happening. Um, I'm concerned. Do you think I could take it apart and look inside? No, I'm not gonna do that. I should though. Okay, I'm back from work. Uh, I don't remember what I said yesterday, but I didn't do anything. Like, I didn't even iron. Did I say that would? I don't remember. But I didn't do anything. I just went to bed. I'm wearing my PG pants. <laughs> but, exciting news, look what I got. Ah, it's an actual iron board. Woo! I'm so excited. Oh, I'm a bit confused. I looked at the instructions on my way home, and I don't understand the pockets. I'm supposed to iron the pant legs, like I'm supposed to fold them in half and iron the front and I was really confused about that until I actually looked at the picture and saw that it was like a like pleated in the front. I think it's all a pleat. Anyway. I actually liked the way this turned out with the pleat in the front. I thought I wouldn't for a while but I actually really liked it. It looks really clean. The part I didn't understand though uh, was the pocket. There's like a facing in the pockets and I think now that it's like it's been a while and I'm reflecting. I think it's when your fabric doesn't have the same color on each side and it makes it look like it is the same color. I think that's what it is, but it really, really confused me. My machine is jumping stitches here. Don't know what that's about. I'm back from work again. It's Tuesday. I have my pajama pants. I have a hot chocolate. I'm gonna watch five minutes of a show and then I'm gonna start. Um, will I finish today? No. But because there's there's pockets involved and I don't I know don't how, how to do, how to pockets. do pockets. I'm happy that it's a free pattern, but also I need like a bit more detail. <laughs> It's the red tour. It keeps happening to me and I thought it was because I, I was using like an overlock thread. Oh, I didn't tear, it's still in there. <laughs> it's a 
right sides facing each other as opposed to pin the pockets together. Ooh. So like this. We're attaching the pockets like this. And the only place I'm going to leave open is where my hand is going to go in. Or where I'm assuming my hand is going to go in, because that's the only thing that my brain thinks makes sense. Okay, now it actually tore. It did. Look. Can you see it? At this point I realized there's maybe a reason why my thread keeps tearing and also why it's skipping stitches and I decided to change my sewing needle to this one which was more fitting for the fabric uh, and then I confused the needles and it took me ages to figure out which one was the right one. <laughs> okay, I don't want to celebrate too early but... I just realized I have to attach the sides, like the zipper at the side, which means I have to attach it along one of the pockets. How's that gonna work? Okay, I'm gonna cross that bridge. What? <laughs> I'm, gonna I'm gonna cross, cross that, that bridge, bridge when, when I come, I come to, it. to it. I once again pushed that problem to another time and decided to do the back panels first. They both have a dark. It looks like I'm eating my needle. What? Um. So yeah, they both both back panels have a dart in the back and I sewed that up. I was happy about it and then I sewed up the back pants along the butt seam and it looked like this and it started looking really clean and I kind of liked it and I got excited and my pocket worked. This is the back. This is the front. Is the pocket it's so pretty? I'm in love with the pocket of my pants. Okay, really honestly, this is really good. Like, I think this is one of the best, like, cleanest things I've ever sewn. Do you see the pocket? No, because it's here. Ew, that looked weird. Pockets. It's the weekend. It didn't do anything for a few days because. I didn't want to. I'm gonna spare you my monologue here about waistbands. I was telling you I've never seen a waistband like this, and it's true, I haven't. But the main point was that they put an interfacing on both layers of the waistband, and I was confused about that fact. See, this is also me progressing, just talking for three minutes straight. <sighs> I decided to overcome my interfacing fear and iron it in into all four pieces of the waistband. It was very weird. I think the pattern actually called for more, but I couldn't deal with that change. So yeah, here's also what it looks like with one side of the pants attached. Remember a while ago um, when I was raving about the how I well I managed the pocket? Turns out it's wrong. And it's not actually supposed to look like that because when I tried to iron it flat, it didn't make sense and there was too much fabric. So I attached it. Whoops. I attached it so it was like this is the top and it's just. Oh, here. Ah! Oh, fuck. This is the pocket on the side and I attached it so that it, it's like a really hidden pocket. It's not supposed to be like that. I think I should have attached the back side. Pretty sure I just solved the problem. Okay, that's nice. It doesn't happen a lot. And it's supposed to be like this kind of pocket. So not the completely hidden one, but like this. I'm immediately in a better mood. Well, that mood was not gonna last because uh, I would soon realize that this waistband was actually a waste of time. Uh, I have this thing where I forget to try stuff on while I'm sewing and in the end I'm like, oh, this doesn't fit. They're way too long, but that's okay. Also, I haven't like sewed it up here yet, so... Somehow it's too big. Um, like, this is how much fabric I have left on the side. I have to cut that out, but there's a pocket in here and in here. And there's darts here, so I have to like cut it symmetrically, so I have to take out fabric here as well. The seam here is really like going up my butt. Oh, I don't know, I thought it was almost done and this is really frustrating me because I don't want to do this anymore. Once again, I don't like the interfacing, so I think... 
think I'm gonna take it out. I don't know, it just feels really weird. Actually, maybe I should, maybe I should leave it. No, I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna take it out. <sighs> I just can't make this decision. Mama? Yeah? Hello. Ew. I'm gonna cry. It's about five hours later. I'm so close to crying. Every time I put them on, they're still not my size. Like I keep taking them in and in. I hate these pants. I don't want to wear them on my birthday because I'm just gonna be mad at them. Anyway, I'm gonna put the zipper in. If this is the last clip you see, it's because I didn't finish them. Pray with me. Because I might lose my sanity. Over these... Pants. <laughs> Hi, it's been two weeks. I haven't been even motivated because when I get home from work, I'm just too tired and then I don't want to sew and I have to like buy food and clean. Pants are finished. I wore them, they're great. And I want to finish this vision that I had with a shirt. So let's just, I'm gonna just speed this through because I'm done. Um, I'm just gonna trace this shirt I have onto this really nice fluffy fabric. Here you go. The amount of time it took me to make the shirt uh, definitely makes up for the amount of time it took me to make the pants. Um, but yeah, I just traced a pretty loose fitting t-shirt. Literally just traced it here, you see. I just, like, the both sides look the same. And added a sleeve that I had. I usually make a bishop sleeve out of this, but I just left it open in like a, I think it's 70s style, like a Merlin withered style sleeve. It's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy. I added a turtleneck and that's it. It took me two hours. Look how fluffy the fabric is. This was worth it. This was worth it. <laughs>